29. Well, you wouldn't think that construction hats and tutus would make a great outfit, but these ballerinas were <laughs> making the outfit look really good. <laughs> Last week, they joined city leaders as they broke ground on Harriet's Orlando Ballet Center. There are lots of exciting things, big dances happening at the Orlando Ballet. And one person who is very excited is this guy right here. Shane Jewell became the new executive director earlier this year. Welcome. Welcome to Orlando. Mm -hmm. You've been here about four months now. That's so right. how yeah. are you liking Orlando? I love it. It, it is a beautiful city, uh, mm -hmm. as the motto says, um, but it's also there's so much arts and culture here. It's a really important part of the community, and there's so much support for it on mm -hmm. every level. So I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize that we do have so much going on. Absolutely. I mean, I think per capita, you probably have more artists in Orlando than anywhere else in the U.S. And it's an exciting time for Orlando Ballet with your new headquarters, and you're new in town. Tell us about some of the exciting things to look forward to. Well, we did break ground on our new uh, facility, which will be open next fall. It's a 37,000 square foot facility that will house our company dancers, our school, where we have over 500 students, wow. and our administrative team. So right now, those are in three separate locations. Mm -hmm. So as you can understand, communication can sometimes be a challenge. It's mm -hmm. also just going to be you know, the nicest dance facility in Orlando. Uh, it's going to be a $12 million building, and we cannot wait for it to open. Yeah, beautiful the renderings location. look beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And it'll be in Lock Haven Park, right. which is just a great hub for the arts. Yeah, and there'll be a... Within the company uh, auditorium where they rehearse is a 7,000 square foot space that will house like a 400 seat. We can convert it into a theater. We can open it up as a ballroom for 450 people for weddings and events for the community. So we really want to be part of the community of Lock Haven Park. Very versatile. Absolutely. That was the idea. So the season, I mean, I normally think ballet, especially now when it comes to the Christmas time, mm -hmm. but there is a lot going on before, after Christmas. Give us an idea of what's What's down the, the pipe? Sure. Well, we just finished Carmina Burana, mm -hmm. which was um, a partnership with the Bach Festival Society. We had 260 singers on stage, a full orchestra, and then our, our dancers, and it was just beautiful. It was actually the third highest grossing non-Nutcracker ballet mm -hmm. in, the, in the history of this company. Oh, wow. Which is really incredible, because the top two were Swan Lake and Romeo and Juliet, which oh, wow. are all very well-known ballets, and that happened last season. So now we're with Car Carmina Brana doesn't have the same name recognition, but it's sold so well. Uh, people were so thrilled about it. And then, of course, we have the Nutcracker, and we went from seven performances last season to ten performances this season because oh. we were sold out all seven, and we had a lot of complaints of people that couldn't bring their little kids to come Probably see the Nutcracker. Probably for me. Probably for me. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we opened it up for two weekends, and that'll start December 7th. And We'll have several other things. Then we end with a world premiere of a brand new ballet. Uh, it's called Wonderland Tales of the Mad Hatter, which our artist in residence, Arcadian Broad, whom you may have seen on So You Think You Can Dance, mm -hmm. uh, actually choreographed the whole thing and composed the score for it. So it's really incredible. Yeah, so much talent at the Orlando Ballet. I mean, coming here, being new to the group, I mean, were you just blown away by all this? Absolutely. So when I started, I started in June, and the company wasn't on season yet, so the dancers mm -hmm. weren't here. So Carmina Brana was my first time to ever see them perform, and I waited until, like, the final dress rehearsal to finally see, you know, how good yeah. is this company? And I was just blown away. I mean, I just kept thinking, oh my God, I'm so glad I came here. And what a great company to work with. Robert Hill, our artistic director, this is his 10th anniversary season. He has done so much for this company and he's just an incredible artistic director and an incredible friend and great to work with. So everything is going well. Well, how can we get, you know, some support for the ballet right now? Is it, you know, the ticket sales? Are there other opportunities to, you know, partner up? There's always opportunities to partner up. So, it, uh, yeah, there's support, obviously, financial support. There's volunteers. There's ticket sales. There's just helping us get the word out and say, you've got to come see the ballet. You know, word of mouth is the best advertising mm -hmm. we can do. And we have all that information on our website at orlandoballet.org. So come check it out and come visit. Thank you, Shane. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. I appreciate it. Welcome. We love having you in yes. Orlando. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to love check out everything here. going on with the ballet. <laughs> Can't wait.